man, that was good stuff. Now we know how to produce better recruiting videos. No, you don't. There's one last thing we need to get into. And quite frankly, if you don't do this last step, then everything else we talked about, I mean, I'm not gonna say that it's worthless, but it's kind of worthless. The last thing you need to do is have a plan for promotion. Duh, of course, Tony. I mean, you know, we're gonna do a Facebook ad or a LinkedIn ad or whatever. We're gonna put it out on our social media. No, 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 no. You need a promotion plan. Just saying, well, we're gonna do a few ads. That's not good enough. When are those ads gonna take place? What days are they going to hit? What time of day are they going to hit? How frequently are we going to do them? Give me a calendar so I can write down all of these things in there. You need a promotional plan. This is maybe the most important step because no matter how good your recruiting video is, no matter how good that video is, if people don't see it, what was the point? I mean, there's no point in having the world's greatest recruiting video if it doesn't find its audience. So we need to get it to them. We need a plan for that. Have a goal, have a target. Now, I'm not saying that you have to send it out every single day on social media, four times a day. I'm not saying anything like that. Just have a plan. Know when it's going to be sent out, how frequently it's going to be sent out. Write it down before you get started in all of this. You, you don't have to wait till the video is over to do this. this is, go back to your, pre, your, your pre-production planning and start thinking about it then. What's your promotional plan? It is critical. Let me help you with that plan. Now, you're probably going to put it out on social media. Great. You absolutely should do that. Things you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you include. Uh, video captions in that. The vast majority of people watching videos on social media are not turning the sound on. <laughs> you need captions in your video for this reason. So make sure your video has captions. Um, have a social media schedule. This is something that the folks in marketing might be able to help you with. They might already have some sort of a, a content calendar template that they can share with you. And it's not so much about what, you know, what they're actually putting out there. It's just that template to help you in scheduling what you're going to do. So you schedule when those ads are going to come out. You have an actual physical calendar that you can put them on. Man, that makes a world of difference and it, it keeps you accountable as well. It holds you to something. And, and, and again, this is all about the planning aspect of it. So it's going to help you with that plan. So uh, a content calendar can be a, a terrific tool. Do you have a company newsletter? Again, talking with the marketing department, you know, working on that relationship between you and that person in the marketing department. Uh, ask them if they have if they send out a company newsletter. They might have a gigantic email list that they're sending out a newsletter to every single month. See if you can drop your job posting into that newsletter. These are people who already love the company. Now give them an opportunity to work at the company. S send the job posting with the video. Now most email newsletters don't have the actual video in it. Uh, it's usually just an image with a play button and it links back to the video at your website or the job posting at your website. Either way, that's fine. Uh, but go ahead and do that. We're just looking for ways to promote the video and get the video out there in front of the audience. A newsletter is a great way to do that. Do you already have some sort of recruiting funnel? This is a very basic one. This is Google's uh, uh, job recruiting funnel uh, and what it looks like. Yours might look a little bit different. The stages might have different names. Don't, don't worry about any of that. It's just the whole notion, do you have some sort of a recruiting funnel? Here's what I want you to think about when you think of your recruiting funnel. Uh, chances are you have assets, uh, you have content that you're using at each stage of the marketing aspect of, of your job posting. Where can you insert a video asset into the content you're already sharing? 
into the content you're already pumping out for each of those stages in the funnel. This is a great way to promote your video. It, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You, I'm not asking you to add stages or anything. Just what are what's the content you're already producing for each of these stages and how can we incorporate a video into the existing content? This is a great thing to do. This is a great way to get the video out there. Uh, it's also a great way to determine maybe which video or videos you want to produce to help with your job postings. You can look at the different content that you're doing in these stages and then think to yourself, hmm, you know what? If we had an About Us video, this would be a great spot for it. You know, top of the funnel, the awareness stage, maybe, maybe you know, an About Us video would be good for that. Maybe the interest stage would be terrific for a company culture video of some sort. And then maybe, you know, the consideration stage, do we have any employee videos that we've produced? Does marketing have any? Can we, can we use some of those in there? I'm trying to get you to think strategically about this. Where are all the different places that we can share the video? The more places you share the video, the more it's gonna go to work for you. And that's what I want. I want these videos to be an asset for you, to be assets for you. I want the videos to help, and the only way they're gonna help is if you get them in front of as many eyeballs as possible. I'm gonna give you one last suggestion, and it's one of my personal favorites. It, it was actually something that uh, one of our customers came up with, and they did it for marketing purposes, but there's no reason why you can't do this for recruiting purposes as well. Uh, I had a phone call with this customer maybe, you know, a few weeks after we had sent them the video and just, you know, hey, just checking in. How's the video going for you? Are you promoting the video? And he said, oh, yeah, you know what? We came up with a great way to promote the video. And I said, oh, that's great. What did you do? And he said, uh, you know, we have about uh, 50 employees who, who work at the company and we put the link to the video in every one of their email signatures. What? What a great idea. You can do this too. Go to your IT people and find out if you can include in everybody's email signature video. We're hiring! Exclamation point. That's it. And then link it to your job boards page or link it to a specific job that you're trying to fill, whatever it might be. It's a great tool to use for promotion. How many emails do people send out every single day? A ton. This is a great promotional tool and it costs nothing. It costs nothing. Great suggestion.